this video, we will look at the mosque, Hagia Sophia, and the things to do nearby. Now, you can't visit Istanbul without visiting at least one of the mosques. There are three major mosques, all fairly close together. In fact, the Blue Mosque and Hagia Sophia are within a one minute walk of each other. As you can see, the grounds are very beautiful. As you enter the mosque, you will even notice their ritual start right away with the washings they do before entering. And the face? Their washings follow a distinct pattern and are only necessary if you're entering to worship. We visited Hagia Sophia because it was originally a Christian church of the Roman Empire and later converted into a mosque, then a museum, and recently a mosque once again. So you can tell there is a lot of history behind this mosque. As a place of worship, it is important to have the appropriate attire when entering the mosque. And my guide that I provide below this video will have a map to a nearby place that you can buy a hijab or a headscarf. And that's where we bought ours before entering the mosque. We also got a guide right outside the mosque that showed us around and gave us all the history. Turkey is one of the most amazing places you can visit because of places like this. So if you haven't already done so, at the end of this video, watch my complete Turkey travel guide video for the best things to do while in Turkey. I will link to that video in a playlist at the end of this video, as well as many other travel videos. Now something important to know before going, the mosque has distinct hours for visitors and for prayer, and we wanted to experience both. So we returned at night to see their prayer rituals too, and in the day we went just to visit and get some pictures. Timing is important for these mosques, so I highly recommend you get the schedules and find the best times to go for you. In my itinerary I have linked to as a guide to this video, I link to the prayer times and how to know the best times to go. So for prayer, go at the hours on that website. Close to the mosque was a restaurant, it was amazing as it had the four pillow style seating and that's just the beginning of this amazing experience at this restaurant. The best part about this restaurant was the whirling dervishes as entertainment, if I'm allowed to call them entertainment. The practice of the whirling dervishes started in the 12th century and has been passed down ever since as a unique style of meditation within their dervish fraternity. But if the floor seating and the dervishes still don't do it for you, the restaurant has delicious food. It had my favorite Turkish dish, which is the testi, otherwise known as the pottery kebab. And I'm probably butchering the names. Now, if you eat nearby, you're going to want a great dessert after. That is where sticky ice cream comes into play. In Turkey, their ice cream is known as dunderma. Now, you don't just want your dunderma anywhere. You want a good show to go along with it. And the show is at your expense. But if you're a game, it's really fun and kind of funny. You can't just go to any Dunderma stand. I know because I went to plenty and this guy was the best that we found here. I wish I had time to show you the others and how this guy compares. Yo, what? Very close to Hagia Sophia is a spot called Basilica Cistern. I like to be real with my viewers in all my videos. This place was good for a few pictures, but other than that, I felt like it was kind of a tourist trap. But that's my opinion. Istanbul and Turkey in general is all about the view. The 360 Panorama restaurant is one of the best places to get a view of the Blue Mosque and Hagia Sophia from above. This is a popular restaurant and the food here was good, but the view is what it is all about here. Just FYI, Turkish bathhouses are also called hammams, and they are awesome. This specific hammam is over 300 years old. Even though they wouldn't let me film the experience, I will show you the inside of a different hammam so that you can see what they are all about inside. I want you to have the best travel experiences like mine, so like, subscribe, and watch some of my other turkey travel videos now.